Hello, this is Scott. Welcome back to my channel, Growing Contentments. Today's video, we're back at the project garden where we'll be planting the early spring vegetables that are planted from seed. I will be showing photos from previous year's gardens just to illustrate what will be happening as the seeds progress into mature plants that we can harvest. Today, we'll be planting several varieties of radishes, carrots, beets, and we'll also be planting parsnips and turnips. As always, we need to prepare the bed for planting. So I'm taking the last of our compost that I got from the nursery, as well as the lawn uh, clipping compost that the owner has stored behind the fence for a couple of years, and I'm just spreading it around. I don't have a lot of it left, but I'm just going to use it to the best of our ability to make a little bit of some raised beds uh, to, to plant the seeds in. Nothing complicated, not going to do a lot of other amendments or fertility at this point. I'm just going to get this bed turned over, mixed up, and then, uh, as you'll see in a moment, I'm going to get it raked out. For root crops, we're going to need nice, loose soil. So over time, I will make these beds higher, and uh, with the no-till method, I will be composting and mulching. So therefore, the soil should stay pretty firm, but not compacted. And over time, the vegetables will have uh, great soil to grow in, and so they're not misshapen. I'm not adding fertility at this point because this ground has been fallow for multiple years and should have enough fertility in it to get started with the addition of the compost that we've added. Getting all the soil mixed and raked out and developing the beds. Uh, we're going to have two beds with a with walkway in between. I'm just raking it, trying to rake it as smooth as I can, as level as I can at this point. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, just needs to be so we can tell where we've planted the seeds and then we can tell where we need to walk. We don't want to be walking on these beds. Sometimes these seeds take a little while to come up, so it's, uh, it's kind of crucial that we know exactly where we've planted things so we don't end up making a mistake walking on them and uh, compacting them down. Now, root crop vegetables are only grown, you know, from a quarter inch to a half inch deep. So uh, we definitely don't want to compact these or push them down into the soil too much or they will not germinate. So we're just getting these beds raked out, uh, getting the, the walkways, uh, I'm doing a little smaller walkways than usual just because this space is not as large as I had anticipated when I started this project and uh, we want to add a lot of vegetables. So right now we've, as we've done with earlier videos, the potatoes you can see behind me and in front of me are the onions. And so we've got these two beds we're making and then we've got a little extra space in the middle where we'll be planting additional crops uh, in future videos. I think the plan for the next bed is to put in broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbage and space them out uh, quite far so that I can leave room for the summer crops that are also going to go in here. And then when the spring crops are done, the summer crops can take over. And I'm planning on some probably zucchini, cucumbers, as well as a bunch of tomatoes in this area. So I've got to really calculate how many spring uh, uh, brassica plants I want to put in here. The first vegetables we're planting today are radishes, and I'm planting seven varieties. Daikon radish are long radishes, champion radish, early scarlet globe, Cook's custom blend, cherry bell, and French breakfast, which is my personal favorite from two different seed companies. To draw lines for your uh, root crops but as they're such a shallow variety and I should have used a longer stick but oh well it's just great for my back all I'm doing is just dragging the stick through the dirt about an eighth of an inch to a quarter inch deep not being too particular I'm doing the outsides first uh, because it's easier to tell where the middle should be now there if I was doing a field sobriety test right there I would have failed uh, looks like but uh, turned out okay. Now I'm headed down the middle. And again, I'm not doing real great. Looks like I maybe I've had a four out of a six pack, but we're getting close to the end and we're successful. Plant radishes, it's as simple as taking the packs of seeds, tearing off the corner, and then shaking the seeds down the trench that I've drew with the uh, stick a minute ago. 
and I'm doing them extra thick because uh, what I'm going to do is I'd rather have uh, them all come up and then I can thin them later than to not plant dense and then end up having spaces in between the plants that I don't want. So I waste a little seed. I end up having to do some thinning, but uh, to me it's the best way to go. And you can also pick and eat the smaller uh, vegetables as they grow. Um, they're good in salads also. They don't have to be mature bulbs. They can, uh, you can eat them at any, in any stage along with the greens. Again, I'm using seven different varieties, so I'm just tapping them out until I run out of seed in the pack. And then I'll grab another pack and I'll just keep on going. I'm planting a bunch of radishes, probably a lot more than I should. But I like radishes and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm planting in the entire first row with radishes, as well as a couple spaces uh, left over when I plant some of the other vegetables. But again, you can always do succession planting, which is as you pick them, you just keep planting more and more every couple weeks until it gets really hot. And then you can plant again in the fall, as radishes are, a, are not a warm season crop. They like cool weather. So plant them in the early spring and then plant them again in late summer for a fall harvest. And uh, it'll always add that little extra crispy taste to your salads. And here are some pictures from my previous gardens at my residence, uh, showing the development of the radishes uh, from their first sprouting until they get a little bit bigger. As you see, the heart-shaped leaves are from the are the immature leaves, but they come up and they're usually mature in 28 to 35, 36 days. As you see, the mature leaves are different. Uh, they've changed. Uh, you'll start seeing the bulb, so you kind of know when to start picking. And then these are the French breakfasts that are my favorite. Now in the middle row of this bed, I'm planting purple top white globe turnips as well as parsnips. Uh, it looks like I forgot to photograph the picture of the, the seeds for the parsnips. I've been unsuccessful at my garden growing these vegetables because the birds, sparrows, chickadees, they eat the tops before the bulbs can, can grow and form. So birds, you know, feeding them and housing them is a blessing, but it is also a curse for certain types of plants, including parsnips and turnips. So planting turnips and parsnips is the same as planting radishes. You just tear the packs open, you scatter the seeds at the same depth, approximately an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. You spread them out. I like to do them extra thick again because I can always thin. You know, if you miss a spot, then you have a blank spot that, you, that you're not going to have any benefit from. So I always plant thick. Here I'm switching over to the parsnips, and the parsnips have a really interesting seed. It's really a flat seed, uh, it really blows in the breeze. It's kind of a, an interesting seed. It's different than, than most seeds that you plant. Um, here I'm just got a little too much there. I'm just spreading it out with my hands, and I'm just gonna go down the row until this seed's gone. At the end of this row, I went ahead and planted a little bit more radish. I did mix some of the seeds together because I wasn't going to get them all planted if I didn't mix them together. So we'll have a nice variety of radishes coming up uh, in this row. And also I do a little bit on another row later with the carrots. And it's always nice to grow carrots and radishes together because the radishes are a quick maturing crop and uh, much faster than the carrots. So as you're pulling the radishes, you're thinning the carrots. So it's kind of their great companion uh, plants to grow together. Now beet seeds are an interesting looking seed. They look kind of a combination between a coronavirus and a asteroid. Uh, they're kind of a pokey little weird looking seed. Uh, sometimes they're a little tough to germinate. Um, but again, I'm planting them just same depth, scattering them down the row. And then if I over plant, then I'll just spread them out or I'll just thin them as, as we go. Again, beet tops are great in salads also. You can eat the mature varieties. Uh, not a big deal. Going all the way down the row, just spreading them out as, as evenly as I can. And then when I get done with this bed, what I haven't shown you is how I cover up the seeds up to this point. As the little trench that I dug is only quarter inch to a half inch deep 
it's very simple to cover the seeds up. Again, you don't want too much soil over them. Uh, they need to be close to the surface so they germinate readily. But it's as simple as just pulling the dirt to, back up over and tapping them down. As you see, I'm going to do all of the seeds that I planted up to this point. The radishes, the beets, the turnips, the parsnips are all going to be done the same way. Just cover them up, tap them down. Seems like it takes longer to talk about the process than to actually do it. It's very fast. But I never cover up seeds until I'm done with a bed because I always want to know where I planted uh, the seeds before I cover them up just so I keep my rows straight and uh, don't make any mistakes. Next up are the carrots. We have Rainbow Mix, Im Imperator, Danvers Half Long, Scarlet Nantes, and Nante Supreme. Now with these, I'm gonna draw two rows and then I'm gonna leave the outside row unplanted because uh, I'm gonna probably put in some spinach or some Swiss chard, things like that in that row. Spinach is getting a little too late. It's one of the first plants to bolt. Maybe I'll put kale, that might be a good idea. But carrots are something we really enjoy. Uh, they, they'll store in the ground if you wanna keep them in the ground over winter. You can succession plant them where you plant them every week. And then as soon as you see them come up, you plant another row just so they come up at different stages. So they're not all mature at the same time. It's however you want to do it. I'm planting, again, two rows because we are going to enjoy a lot of carrots, hopefully, if, they, if they, we get good germination. And they're as simple as the same way as we planted everything else. They're a quarter inch deep. Sprinkle out the seeds. I got multiple varieties, so I'm just mixing them up, sprinkle them down the rows, and then I will cover them up the same way I did before with just using my hands and just uh, just pushing the dirt back over them and tapping them down. After all this is done, I'll water everything in. You know, I got to keep everything moist so that these seeds germinate and uh, don't die off. If you like this video and would like to continue to follow me on my journey to live my best rural life in the city, Please subscribe to my channel, like and share. Thank you.